guys, welcome back. We're on Tall Dredges. If you're new here, we're a full-time travel couple from the UK. We are currently at Africa's biggest mall, the Moroccan mall. We're gonna go in, explore, and see everything that's in there. Maybe try some food, do a bit of shopping. I have no idea what's in there, but let's go and see. Wow, it's very different to a mall. I feel like there's a lot of work still being done. It's actually like quite like open. It's a bit more like a hotel sort of thing. Real palm trees? Yeah. It's got a very Moroccan style as well, and they've got music playing, very clean. It's quite quiet as well. It's like yeah. two o'clock. It's I'd not say really this, what I expected. I'd say this is like a busy time for people to shop. Yeah, I mean, it is a weekday. Oh, oh yeah, it's Wednesday. Yeah, I suppose. Let's see what there is. I'm not really sure. The first section as we walk in, we've got some sort of familiar brands. Guess, Steve Madden, The Gap, Starbucks, all like your everyday international brands. So Oh, there goes Zara. <laughs> I really to be happy. First impressions, a little bit like, I don't know. So I was all like, I, I was expecting something massive when, when we walked in, but it was all like just the stores. We're now walking into the main concourse and it's a little bit different. Candy floss. But this is the bit, I think this is the mind blowing bit that wows this more. So this is actually called Aqua Dream. It's one of the world's largest suspended aquariums and it's here in Morocco's mall. There's over 1.5 million litres of water, but I've seen sharks, fish, stingrays, there's loads in there. It looks like you can go down below and look from the middle, if you can kind of see there, but I think you've got to pay. And it looks like this might be a bit upset, so we'll have a look around, see if we can get closer. But these fish are amazing. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing, honestly. So cool. I am getting the tank in. Oh, is that in? The whole tank. I know you're filming me. <laughs> See, this is what I have to deal with. This is a behind the scenes sort of thing. Yeah, it's a me trying to take a there. picture. As we uh, take the escalator to the next floor, I'll give you some facts. So, this costs 2 billion dirham to build. It opened December 5th, 2011, and it is Africa's largest mall. There's Adventureland, there's like an arcade. Let's go and have a look inside. Wow, look, it's like a castle style. You get some childish, don't you? Oh, I love it, I love things like this. Let's go and see what's inside. Whoa, it's actually like a fun fair. There's no rides. We've got machines. Oh, there's an ice skating. There's an ice skating ring. Oh my gosh. I need to know how much. I'm a little bit tempted. Okay. I love ice skating. If I'm reading the sign right, I think it's 50 dirham. Which I think is well cheap. Do you not want to go on it? Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, we'll do a flip. Let's go have a look. We've got a soft play there. And then over here, there's loads of arcade games. You've got foosball. I'm not sure how it works, I don't know if we need to get tokens. Old school. Old school, yeah. That's well old school game. Basketball. Oh my god, Ben, I think you can play the card. Space Invaders. What? Rides. This is so mental inside a mall. This floor is like a little bit more luxury. Like they've got like a carpet running all the way through. Feels a little bit more posh. Got a Rolex store, Dior, Fendi, Louis Vuitton, all like your luxury brands. But this is really nice. Mont Blanc. This area is stunning. It's one of the most unique malls I've been to. It's got like palm trees growing in the middle. And it's been said, as you come up here, there's like carpets. You feel a little bit posher. Like it's you should really... take your shoes off. It's, uh, it's spaced out like really nicely. All the roof is like glass. So it actually feels like warmer in it. It's almost sort of like a, like a greenhouse effect. being Africa's largest mall, it is also a significant landmark here in Casablanca. It actually covers two million square meters. So it's massive. So it looks like it's the top of the fish tank over it. I think you can look down on it. You need a ticket, you can't just go in there, but I think you can look down. I think it's probably um, part of going at the bottom and going at the top. Yeah. I'm trying to find the cinema. I suppose there's a cinema in it somewhere. I smell food though, so I think we're on the food court. We're on the top floor. 
I assume this is the top floor. There might be another secret one. I'll get so lost in malls. They've got a lot of shops that aren't open yet. All along here, there's loads. Like, yeah, they haven't even got a name or anything. Considering this mall's like 13 years old, there seems to be a lot of um, stores that are... Empty, yeah. Yeah, like not quite ready. They obviously keep adding and changing. Adding and changing. Adding yeah. and changing. So there is actually an Ikea in here. If you know Ikea, that's probably why it's so massive because Ikea's got about 50 different levels and one just to pay on. And you know what Ikea's like, it's an absolute maze. We actually haven't seen where it is, but we keep seeing swords that these are all saying, oh, there it is. <gasps> There's a cat. There's a cat in the mall. Ah, here's the Ikea. So if you want Ikea, there's one here. All right, let's have a look. There's meant to be loads of different cuisines here. So we've got Chinese, Ice Berry, Obviously you've got a Burger King, a McDonald's, your usual stuff. Wow, look at that, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah gaming zone. How cool is that? You can just dump your kid in. Yeah, leave your kid there, couldn't you? Oh, what's that? Ice cream? Oh, that's my favourite. Tacos. That's, yeah, that's always the cheapest Oh tacos. yeah, they look so well nice. Pizza. Uh, wok. So you can get like stir fries, Chinese food. I'm a little bit hungry, I thought we should have the hot dog. Should we go get a hot dog? Shall we? Let's go and get a hot dog. Just for you guys, we're going to get a hot dog. <laughs> well, I think there's loads of seating here. So we've got sushi club, A food. That A food looks well nice. And there's loads of like extra right. seating here. So you can get an ice cream for five dirham and a hot dog for 10 dirham. Woo! Not bad for 10 dirham. Very basic hot dog. We've got mustard, ketchup, mayonnaise. No to the ketchup, so I don't like ketchup. But I think mustard and mayonnaise. Nah, mayonnaise is a bit weird, isn't it? On a hot dog. Would you put mayonnaise on a hot dog? So let's see what the 10 dirham hot dog tastes like here in Morocco Mall. The 10 dirham, surely you can't go wrong. But there you go. Big boy. What's it like? Really good. Is it? Mm. It looks like just a basic hot dog. Mustard. Oh, is it? Mm. Mustard's really hot. Re really got me. That's not bad for 10 dirham. Not the best hot dog, I have to admit, but it's not bad for 10 dirham. But that mustard has got a proper kick in it. The mustard is just like overwhelming. I just love it when it hits you, you know, when it gets your nose. It's just so good. <laughs> Addictive. I'm going to assume this is beef, maybe. Definitely not pork, so I don't have pork here. The one on the picture looks better. Yeah, the one definitely. It looks a lot bigger as well. The hot dogs are coming out in the picture, it's not in there. Traffic tip keep your sauces when you order like chips or something you need a bit of sauce with. How many times we ordered deliveries and there's no sauce and we've got like the driest chips and stuff and we're just like, oh, I wish I had some sauce. Keep your sauces wherever you go. Salt and pepper as well. And cutlery, keep everything. <laughs> you never know when you'll be caught short. We're caught short plenty of times. So we're back on the ground floor, we've got ATMs there. There's also a supermarket over there. So everything you need is inside the mall. Ooh, popcorn. If you know us, we love our popcorn. Look at that. Caramel. <gasps> Mix of oh, pecan nuts. Cashew nuts. Ooh, looks good. Just seen there's like a garden area and whoa. <gasps> wow. Amazing. What else is this? All right, we'll show you. Whoa. This is beautiful. I reckon there's like a fountain show in the evening. Definitely, you can see it. So we've got some more like restaurants along here. Morocco got knocked out of the AFCON literally yesterday. And how are you? <laughs> he's, he's okay. Yeah, very good. Morocco got knocked out of AFCON yesterday and they've still got the fan zone up here. So it's right there. Looks absolutely huge. That would have been a great place to watch here. Obviously not with them losing yesterday. Big guy because we're going to be here for the final, but obviously Morocco are not going to be in it. Well, we've just stopped at Lux Coffee. We've got ourselves a Nutella crepe. Ben's gone for a coffee, but I have never seen a coffee served like that. It's all joined together. It's like a bit of a sort of a, a decoration in your house, you know. This crepe is absolutely massive. They make them fresh to order. Unfortunately, I didn't get them making it. All right, let's try a bit of this crepe. Whoa, it's got chocolate inside of it as well. I'm not very good at cutting this. Seems really light and fluffy. Mm. That is so delicious. It's really light and fluffy. And then it's got the chocolate on top. I can't believe we only got one though. And I've got to share this with Ben. <laughs> mm. 
No, go. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, go on. Good in it. The crepe's like a really nice texture, isn't it? Mm. It's really soft. Light and fluffy. Light and fluffy. That's, yeah, you actually, you actually already described it well, evaluated it very well. Yeah, well done. You should do this for a living. Should we share this with Mum? You enjoy yourself. One thing we didn't say about, there's actually an IMAX cinema here. No, thank you. Hello. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, it doesn't look like it's open. I'm not really sure if it's like closed down to refurb. Hello, taxi. Uh, no, no, thank no, you. Thank you. No problem, taxi free. No problem. <laughs> free, yeah. <laughs> free taxi. I don't think we'll be able to get an in-drive one from here. We might have to... Um, Walk down the road a bit. Yeah, yeah, I think we might have to get away from it. We've but, been warned about that before. Yeah, but this doesn't look like it's open. There's police outside. I'm not sure why. It looks like the cinema is closed down. I don't know if it's like changing over names or being refurbed, but I would have loved to have gone in there. I, I would have probably have gone to the cinema if it was open. I, I would have liked to know how much it was and if they had any films in English. I'm along here to get away from the mall, obviously, to be able to order a taxi, but we've actually come to like a nice little beach. Yeah, it's well nice, yeah. It's beautiful. Just like hidden gems here in um, Morocco. What's he making? I think he's making candy floss. Brother, candy floss. Candy floss. Yeah. Yeah? Ah. Okay. And you got it that? Oh, wow. wow. Look at it go. Just on like a moped. Drug How small is that? Wow. Make it massive. Oh, it's been blue on. Yeah, as well. Not his first rodeo. <laughs> oh, he's wrapping some blue around it now. Yeah. Yeah, it's big. It's big. Yeah. How much? How much? Dirham. Ten. Yeah. yeah, we'll give you what. Merci, merci. Thank you. Shukran. Wow. Go on, man. <laughs> How are you going to approach it? Like this. Oh my word. <laughs> yeah. I'm such a big kid. How cool is this? It's not really ended well. Um, Will you just say to me? Yeah. Thing is, though, if you act like a kid, you're going to get treated like a kid. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> this beach is beautiful. I must say, like, this is a potluck, quickly going down the road, trying to get a taxi like, really quickly, going to a quiet area. Like, you and we found this beach and we've ended up with Candy Cross, so it's not all bad. Look at this. I'm not sure about that candy floss. It was more mess than it was worth. I've got like sugar all over me. Luckily there's a toilet um literally there so I could go and wash up, but that guy was so cute and nice and he just like entertained us. So yeah, we was, like it. It was spot on. Ah, oh, it's our favourite things there, Ben. Oh, literally. Get How much do you one day, three up here. How much for a bag? Eight. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Yeah, merci, merci, merci. thank you. Another like lovely cute man. Something about old people is like so cute, isn't it? I'll show you today and I had to say eight and doing two kind of six six no this this. Are you sure? Yeah. See. Well, I done Spanish at school, we haven't done French. I did French, so we got uh, how many's in there? Five. Oh, these are literally our favourites. These are for dessert later because yeah. I've ate too much anyhow. They're like macaroons with biscuit here. Yeah. So oh, good. So, so good. good. I don't even know what they're called. Let me know in the comments what they're called. But we are going to finish the video here. Absolutely brilliant mall. This along here, this promenade, also beautiful. I could walk the dog here, I could jog here, I could do anything here. Um, Casablanca is beautiful. Love Casablanca. Yeah. If you do your travels around Morocco, you've got to stop at Casablanca. I highly recommend it. Yeah, definitely. So make sure you watch the next video because we're going to take the first class experience on the Al Barak. So subscribe. Do you hear me? Do whatever you want, Ben. Yeah, right. So this is Aqua Dream. It is oh, you've got like a weird sunlight thing. Oh, and it's really hoist. Hoist? Wait, hoist, what does that mean? <laughs> no idea.